forget to mention the suit could turn into a tux. Oh, never did that with me. Hey, hey you, come over here. Take this to Mr. Kravenoff's bodyguard. His bodyguard? Dima, move. Well, sounds like your shift's starting. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Better go find Dima. Hello, everyone. Welcome to what looks like Uncharted, but it's actually Spider-Man 2. <laughs> this is clearly a section from Uncharted. He's even got the suit. He's in incognito mode. Everything's just weird here. But here's the gist of this party. Craven is celebrating his murder rampage, so Spidey's here to stop it. This is definitely a walkie-talkie section until up to a certain point in the mission, which my opinion on these types of sections is, um, as long as the game doesn't do it too much, it's okay to have a couple of slowdown sections. And that was my biggest issue with The Last of Us Part 2 in particular, and some sections of Uncharted 4. A 300-year-old sleeping dart will never work. You are so certain. Oh, yeah. Show me, then. I'll show him, too. Yes? Take him. Let him squirm. The poison is ancient, and you don't even know how to use that thing. A true hunter adapts. Sleep well, my friend. Those hunters were nuts. Can't believe the suit listened to me. Wish my suit had a neural interface like this. I could work with Harry, do the hero gig, and take a vacation all at once. Hopefully that sleeping dart is approved, otherwise Peter just committed a murder. Has one of the shield bearers arrived? Uh, yes, he is in the other room by the fire. Will Mr. Cravenoff be joining us this evening? Uh, there are some... Uh, mm, quite right. <laughs> Damn, Craven isn't here. Fuck! Shield bearer. Huh. Sounds like a bodyguard to me. Well, if we can't go for the head of the snake, might as well go for the tail, right? Anyway, our new objective is to serve a dish to Craven's shield bearer. Oh crap, fight night. <laughs> My money's gonna be on the guy with the hammer. Must be him. <clears throat> Your meal, sir. Mm. What the hell is this? Um, I was told to deliver this to Mr. Cravenoff's personal bodyguard. What makes you think I'm him? <laughs> uh, you know, you're, uh, huge. Dima's very hungry. You should leave now. So funny. I was just about to do that. He was looking up at that room. I like how Peter was acting like a skittish nerd, but in reality he could just break the dude's legs without even thinking about it. Kind of reminds me of Clark Kent in that sense. It's too scary. I don't want to serve him food anymore. Just drop the plate and leave. Simple as that. Coming through. Oh, sorry. Don't be sorry. Move! Coming through! Uh, 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 this... Uh, this mess! If everything isn't perfect, we're all dead! Coming through! No! No! No, wait! <laughs> <laughs> There's three stooges skit in the Spider-Man game. I right in front of the door! I told you to wait! No, you Come didn't! On. I was just minding my own. Come on! Shut up, both of you. Pick everything up and let's move. Well, that was eventful. Anyway, it's time to find the Guardian. Find Dima, we find Craven and his weird blizzard serum. Easy. You wouldn't happen to 
be Dima. Crap. Well, that explains the secret menu. Someone's a little angry. A tiger. That's new. All right, let's give Dima something to eat that isn't spider flavored. That raw meat must be somewhere. There we are. Something in that study might help me find Craven. But first, gotta break out the apron. Yeah, Tiger, that's a, <laughs> that's a thing. And sadly, not even a boss fight, which is kind of disappointing. I just imagine Black Suit Spider-Man versus a Tiger. That's definitely something that would have been done back in the day. A meal fit for a Russian Tiger bodyguard. That sounded weird. Ew, where did you put that, Peter? Have to make a few minor adjustments to this meal. Where's that sleeping hunter? A lot of bodies by that sleeping hunter. Yeah, there is. Which is why we gotta make some noise. Unfortunately, this is the part of the mission where we still cannot be seen, otherwise we fail. But we'll be past that point in a few minutes. Time for Dima. Snooping time for Peter. If this doesn't work, there's only one other thing on the menu. Me. Hi, Dima. I'm back. With a little snacky snack. Spidey masterpiece. Mwah. Guess Craven's too cool for his own party. Should look around in case he left the lizard serum somewhere in here. Don't see Craven's lizard serum here. But what are these potions? Wonder if this is how he's so freakishly strong. So here's where we find Craven's secrets as to how he's so damn powerful. It's strongly implied that Craven's got cancer. And instead of dying peacefully, he wants somebody to take his life. Mainly because Craven comes from a long line of warriors who look down upon dying peacefully. Nothing like some light philosophy between hunts. He wants blood and he wants a lot of it. Even if it's his own. No serum. These drugs are for late stage chemotherapy. Are these Cravens too? The chapel prepared. St. Sophia is only a few blocks from here. Craven has to be there with the serum. Time to move. So Craven has a pet tiger. That tracks. Dima. It's not what it looks like. Keep him alive. Okay, suit. Let's see what you can really do. That big guy's got a better spider sense than Spider-Man does. <laughs> he instantly looked behind him and was like, yeah, let me throw this chair like it's WWE. <laughs> 
Anyway, the symbiote suit massively boosts your attacks while active. You can trigger it while the bar is full by pressing in the two sticks. This bar does take a little bit to get filled up, but after, I say, two or three fights, it should be full. This thing knows exactly how I like to fight. And like Peter is mentioning with the suit, him and the symbiote are fighting in perfect synchronicity? Well, probably unison's a better word for it. They are bonding with each other so well, hell, I think Mary Jane might be jealous. That was a joke, by the way. There's no way in hell that Mary Jane would be jealous of a freaking slime creature. Unless we're talking the Kirsten Dunst version of the character, then maybe you have a point. Yeah, the Kirsten Dunst version of Mary Jane is not my favorite interpretation of Mary Jane because she's a kind of a bit of an asshole to Peter. It's mainly because um, the astronaut dude, who was Jonah's son or grandson, I believe, from Spider-Man 2, the movie. Yeah, that was not not that great of a plot point from that movie. Not a good look on MJ for her to toy around with Peter's emotions, and then at the end of the movie just bail on the astronaut dude for Peter. And despite Spider-Man 2 still being one of my favorite superhero films of all time, that part was always kind of annoying. I was like, bro, why would you do that to Peter? In fact, pretty much everything you would imagine happening to Peter that's bad or wrong or terrible happens to Peter in that one film alone. It's like, how do we torture this character without actually torturing him? Damn! <laughs> that was nice. I'm surprised that guy wasn't killed. Took a rocket to the back. That is seriously badass. That is something you would see in an action movie from the 80s. This brute is getting annoying. He needs to get out of here. Ah, so much for a party. Hey, I wonder where all the servers and regular civilians went. They just bailed. Unless they were in another room, but I don't see all of them getting out that quickly. And that should be it for the... Wait, there's one more guy here? Oh, I hate it when the game does that. Some random sniper or hunter likes to hide in a corner and I have to look for him. There you are. Little bitch. Gotta get to the chapel quick. That was fun. It's lucky his arm is only in shambles. That could have been his neck. I love this rain. Holy crap. Hey, Any luck? No craven yet, but I think I know where he is. How's the suit? Weird. It's like it knows me. Don't worry, buddy. I'll take care of everything. Promise. Meet cute back there, I knew it! Not the meat cute. I'd love to get to know you better, but I got some business to take care of. See, your boss has been up to no good lately. This is my city, not his jungle. Here's where the big brute enemy with the shield and the spear make their debut. But since I did the Mysterium's two parts earlier, well, we got to see them then. They have big shields, which seems like they can knock you away at almost any time they want. But the thing is, that blowback attack does no damage. 
What you have to watch out for are their pole arms, which you can easily counter. You can also tell what time to parry their attacks based on this ticking sound. Like that right there. And trust me, you need to listen for that audio cue because there are going to be a lot of bosses in the game where you need to parry or dodge out of the way. And that sound will play a lot. And I might be wrong because I have the controller speaker off, so... Don't quote me on this, but I think that sound can get picked up in your DualSense controller too. At least I think it does. A lot of other sounds get picked up in your controller. This game does a few things that only the PlayStation 5 can do, that no other system can. Not Hell, not even the PS4. You got the weird controller functions as well as the adaptive triggers, and hell, you even got the SSD. Which means the load times in this game are cut down considerably if there are even load times in this game to begin with. <laughs> like if you use the fast travel in this game, you just instantly go to that location. There's no waiting on the train loading screen, you just go there. The graphics, though not that much of an improvement over the first two games, it is kind of a step up. And that's not to say that this game looks bad, I mean, look at the rain. The rain looks absolutely gorgeous. But the other two games also look good, so I can't say which one is... Well, this one is obviously a step up in terms of looks, but I can't say which one is the better looking game, because they pretty much look the same, if that makes sense. I mean, these games have a realistic look for the most part. Peter, are you going to get mad yet? Please get mad. Enough song and dance. I'm coming, Craven. Here to pick up a serum order for a Dr. Connors? What's up with that 70 style zoom in on Craven? That was awesome. Harry! MJ! I got the serum! On my way back to Emily May! How'd it go? Really well. Things just got a little intense with Craven. He's somehow stronger than he looks. I can believe that. Hey, the important thing is that you're okay. And you got the serum. You did great, buddy. 
I'll start prepping the gear. How'd it really go? It was totally... I didn't want to worry, Harry. Craven knows now that the suit malfunctions when it's within range of certain frequencies. How bad is the malfunction? Not pleasant, but I can handle it. Well, I'm glad you're all right, but watch yourself out there, too. Let me know how things go at the lab. Absolutely. Talk soon. And that's going to be the end of the part. See you guys for episode 21.